Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the lesson. Today we are going to start with the weekly video for week 2. We are going to talk about both addends unknown. And we learned about addition in our previous video, so we know what addition is. But what if the numbers that I add together are both unknown? How do I solve this and how do I write an addition sentence for this? First of all, let's understand and recall what addends are. Addends are the two numbers that we add together or subtract from each other. So if I have two numbers that I am adding together, these are called my addends. So in the example that we have here, 3 plus 2 equals 5. So we can say that the numbers 3 plus 2 or 3 and 2 are the addends. Excellent in this addition sentence so if i have an example like the one that we can see there are five bats in all what are the missing addends so we have the sum the sum is given for us we know that all of them are five but what are the two numbers that i add that, that can form this five and how can i create an addition sentence now, if I look closely at this picture, I will see that I have two bats inside the cave and three bats outside. So I can tell that, yes, bravo, excellent. There are three bats outside, so I will write three as the first, the first addend, and then I will add two. So I will write three plus two. 2 excellent and it will equal 5 in all so if i want to solve these problems i will need to solve the pro these problems by breaking the whole into parts i know the whole number of bats right so i need to break it into parts which is 3 and 2 in this example excellent so in this question, it's like a reverse addition sentence that is given to us. We know the answer, which is the sum of all of the bats that I have, right? I have the number 5 given to me in the question, but we need to find the missing addends. What do I add? What are the two numbers that I add that will make 5? Excellent! Now, let's look at another example of missing addends. Okay, the question says, there are four monkeys overall. What are the two missing addends? Okay, I have two monkeys, in uh, four monkeys in all, right? So I know the answer or the sum of the monkeys, right? So, I need to think of two numbers. That I, act, that I can add together and they will equal 4. So, mm, let's think about it. What will I add? Okay, I will look at the top of the tree. I can see one monkey in there, right? So, I will write 1, right, as the first addend. Then I will add the three other monkeys that are trying to climb the tree and go over it, right? So I can say that three monkeys joined the monkey that is on the top of the tree, right? So my addition sentence will be one, which is the monkey on the top. We can You can see that monkey in a white square, right? And we're adding three more monkeys to it. So, we have four monkeys in all. Excellent. So, this way I can say that I wrote an addition sentence with missing addends. I don't know the, the two numbers that I added to make four, but I could figure them from the illustration that I can see. If we look at another example, like the one that we can see in the picture, there are three birds overall. What are the two missing addends? Okay. There is one bird inside 
the bear the bird cage excellent and or the bird house and i have two others outside so i can say that there is one inside and two are trying to join right so i can say that yes excellent one plus two equals three this way i created an addition sentence to show what i see in the picture i can see one bird inside the bird house and i can see two outside so i can say it's one plus two equals three this way i guessed the two add-ins that could make number three excellent so in today's lesson we learned about missing add-ins and how can we figure them out and create an addition sentence thank you for listening and love you so much